Hello my friends, Lenny with Vintage Nationals here. I'm here in beautiful Santa Barbara, Southern California, and the weather is about 80 degrees, so I thought I'd take you outside. I'm currently standing in front of the Santa Barbara Courthouse. I'm actually going to finish telling you about this ukulele upstairs in the balcony where I can show you more about Santa Barbara and make this a little travel tour at the same time. Now, let's go upstairs to the tower. Okay, as I walk up the bowels to the fourth floor. Wow. What a view. There's the town sitting up against the mountains. A little strip of land between the mountains and the ocean. And let's get down to the ocean and see. Beautiful harbor view. That is the Pacific Ocean, my friends. There's the beach. Sweet. Let's talk about this uke. This uke is number 121. I'll tell you it's a three-piece German silver body. There's actually a name if you can see it, Vernon Johnson etched into the handrest. I had the talented Mark Schoenberger build me a new ukulele bridge. He also did a neck set on this ukulele, so it's dialed in perfectly. The neck is perfectly straight on it. It has its original tuners, the banjo style tuners on it. It has the original decal still in place nicely. It has a beautiful heel cap on the mahogany neck as you can see on the heel. Fingerboards in excellent condition as are the frets. Uh, Mark seems to believe that this probably would have been built by John Dopera himself who was active in building guitars very early when the factory opened and this being number 21 this is also a concert uke meaning it's the larger size body. Uh, for some reason they made only about 85 of these and then they went to the small ukes and stuck with them argue that the concert ukes are the better sounding, better playing ukes. Now I don't play the ukulele. I was considering opening a book, grabbing a couple chords and uh, strumming them out for you and faking it so it looked like maybe I knew what I was doing. But I was too lazy to do that and I'm going to get a friend of mine to demonstrate this. Someone who's played a lot of ukulele, built ukuleles, and will do this much more justice than I would do it playing. So, my good friend Don Young, National Resophonic owner, president, king, pin. Uh, can you play this uke for us a little bit? Give us a feel for what this is supposed to sound like. Here you go. Here's a nice old ukulele. This is one of the big body ones that they made before they made the smaller ones, so why did they do that? But uh, anyway, this one's all been reassembled and pounded the dents out, and new tailpiece, and uh, you know, it's just a dandy. It's a Somebody's going to like this one. Yep, you don't see these every day. Where'd you find this one at the Goodwill or something? <laughs> two, two, Lenny got this at the Goodwill for two bucks. <laughs> My dreams! Yep. Oh, you scored, buddy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Don. I could have done that, but uh, yeah, I could have got the pub. Let's go to VintageNationals.com. 
join the pick and parlor, upload some video. Let's see you guys. You got some new stuff. Love to hear it. See you at the pick and parlor. Finish Nationals.